Hi everyone, this is Eric Guzman and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, we are going to talk about the products of some identities. And without further ado, let's begin. Product to some identities, meron tayong apat na formulas. Ayan, nakikita nyo sa inyong screen. For cosine A times cosine B, cosine A, sine B, ay, ulit. Cosine A times cosine B, sine A times sine B, sine A times cosine B, and cosine A times sine B. Yan siya product to some identities. Kasi makikita natin ito, lahat ito is for products. And, ang equivalent niya sa formulas na given natin is puro addition and Subtraction, sum, or difference, parang ganun. Pero tinatawag nilang natin siya as product to some identities. To apply the product to some identities, let's take three sample problems. And let's start with example number one. Example number one, express the product sine 6 theta times sine 4 theta as a sum or difference of two functions. So, paano ang gagawin natin kapag ka naka-encounter tayo ng ganyang problem? ng ganyang problem, we use the product of some identity. And, mapapansin naman natin na this is product sin 6 theta times sin 4 theta. And, ang A natin is 6 theta. Ayan. Ang B natin is 4 theta. So, this is sin A times sin B. And, by product of some identity, ang ating formula is sin A sin B is equal to 1 half cosine A minus B minus cosine A plus B. Ayan. And gawin na natin in terms of 6 theta and 4 theta na. So, this is sine 6 theta and sine 4 theta is equal to 1 half cosine A minus B, 6 theta minus 4 theta. Minus cosine A plus B, 6 theta plus 4 theta. Simplify. Uh, 1 half. 6 theta minus 4 theta is simply 2 theta lang. Cosine 2 theta. Minus 6 theta plus 4 theta is 10 theta. So this is cosine 10. Ay, this is. 10 theta. And, alam na natin yung value. So, sine 6 theta ngayon, sine 6 theta times sine 4 theta is equal to 1 half cosine 2 theta minus cosine 10 theta. This is the answer for example number 1. Ganyan lang sa kasimple. Example number 2. Same concept of problem. Express the product cosine 3x times cosine x as a sum or difference of two functions. Ang a natin is 3x. Ang b natin is simply x lang. And this is cosine a times cosine b. May product ko sa identity, meron tayong special formula for this kind of situation. 1 half cosine a minus b Yung formulas natin kanina, plus cosine A plus B. And this is cosine 3X, cosine X is equal to 1 half, cosine A natin is 3X minus X plus cosine 3X plus X. Ayan, and we simplify Cosine 3x times cosine x, ang kanyang answer in terms of uh, sum or difference of two functions ay 1 half cosine 3x minus x is 2x na lang plus cosine 4x, 3x plus x. And this is the answer for example number 2. Last example, example number 3. Express the product for cosine 75 degrees times sine 25 degrees as a sum or difference of two functions. Like example number 1 and example number 2, ganun lang din ang gagawin natin for example number 3. Kaya lang, 
Baka malito tayo kasi meron na tayong 4 dito. 75 degrees natin, ito yung A. And of course, 25 degrees is the B. Cosine A, sine B, is equal to 1 half sine A plus B minus sine A minus B. And lagay na natin, we have 4 cosine 75 degrees sine 25 degrees. Kailangan pa rin natin ilagay yung 4 kasi dapat kung ano yung nasa given, nilalagay pa rin natin. And this is 4. And yung ating formula, we have 1 over 2. Sine A natin is 75 degrees plus 25 degrees minus sine 75 degrees minus 25 degrees. Multiply na lang muna natin ito. This is uh, 4 times 1 half is 2 na lang. We have 2. And this is sine 75 plus 25 is 100. 100 degrees. Minus 75 minus 25 is 50. Sine 50 degrees. So, eto na po yung ating answer for example number 3. Hindi naman na natin pwedeng i-simplify pa yan. Ang sabi lang kasi, sa problem, i-express lang natin yung product as a sum or difference of two functions. Kung hinahanap sa atin is exact value, dahil lalagyan natin ito ng value using the identities, the other identities. But, for example, number 3, ito na po ang ating answer. Another simplification na lang dyan, pwede natin i-distribute yung 2 na yan. That's all for product to some identities. Please like and share. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.